So um, here is the novel. This is the Sasquatch Hunter's Almanac. It's beautiful. I'm in love with the cover. Um, as I posted on Facebook not long ago, I want to marry the cover and have the cover's babies. I think it's just beautiful. Um, so I thought I would just read a couple paragraphs right from the very, very beginning of the novel for you, um, just so you can kind of get a feel for how this beautiful landscape um, influences my work. So this is from the very first chapter, which is set in the year of 1943. Um, the chapter is called uh, The Handsome Guest and is very much about the first time Eli Roebuck, our central character in the novel, meets the Sasquatch. The Handsome Guest. Eli Roebuck lived with his parents, Greg and Agnes, in a tiny cabin near State Line. Greg arranged a little rock border right where the line ran so that Eli could stand with one foot in Idaho and one foot in Washington and sense through the soles of his boots the difference between the two. Washington sap smelled sweeter. The soil was softer and less rocky. Idaho earth baked and hardened and stank like eggs, or so Eli imagined. In reality, the environment was seamless, dry white pine forest littered with decomposing needles and loose rock, and above, a hawk wheeling in the barrel blue sky. In the winter, snow fell and transformed the uneven terrain into a smooth white plain. Then it melted and the world returned to him as it had always been, faded brown and faded green, jagged and inviting. So that is the very beginning, um, and you can see that I really, it was really important to me to root the novel in a, a sense of place. Um, and all of those images were really drawn from my playing out in the wilderness, uh, wilderness much like this, uh, growing up here in Spokane, Washington. Thanks.